Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 1166, design file systems. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by using hash maps to store the file paths and their values. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is actually create the hash map. Um, so the type would be string and integer. And yeah, let's just call it file values. Awesome. So within the constructor itself, um, let's initialize that. So file values will be equal to new hash map. Um, awesome. So once we have that, um, there are a couple of things that we need to do. Um, so when I was initially looking at this problem, the first thing that came to my mind is that it seems like it's a, like a tri-tree problem, as in kind of like a dictionary, right? Um, so like this parent exists and then go to the child and see if that exists as well. So basically going like directory to directory. Um, but that would take a while to set up. So that's the reason why we um, I decided to go ahead with the hash map. And the way you understand whether a particular parent exists or not is you just take uh, the path, everything before the given path. So how do you do that, right? So let's say string current path, right? Um, would be equal to um, path dot substring. So you're taking a substring of the current path and you're taking that from zero, so all the way from the end to path dot last index of uh, the forward slash. So what are you telling, like what is this line doing? This line is basically saying, hey, give me the parent of this current path, basically remove everything uh, like which, like the last directory, remove that and give me everything before that. So what you're going to do is you're going to check is that if uh, the file values, if it doesn't contain the parent, uh, you just return false, right? So you, we know that it's not a valid path then. Uh, if it doesn't contain current parent, Current parent is actually let's rename that. Return false. Right. So and if it does exist, so you would say file values dot put uh, the path and the value, and then you would return true. Awesome. But there are a couple of edge cases that we need to take care of. The edge case here is that if the path that's given to us, if it's like empty, like it's like a like a case that we need to take care of, if it is empty, you just return false. And I return false. Um, and the other thing that we need to take care of is that if the the path already exists, right? So file values that contains key so as in like one of the requirements of the the problem is that if it already exists you just need to return false return false awesome the other thing that we need to take care of is this so if the current uh, parent right dot length uh, sorry sorry current parent dot length if it is greater than one and then the parent doesn't exist then it is a problem because so for example if you look at this particular uh problem right uh like if you look at this particular input here when we're asking for a substring you're just getting this Right, or you'll just get like an empty empty string, right? So basically what you're saying is that this is a valid path that we need to add, but when you're checking, hey, it does a parent exist, you just need to um, make sure that you add this condition. So the current parent that you're looking at, if the length is greater than one, if it is only greater than one, that means it is a valid parent. There's nothing that has come before that. Only then you check if it exists, and then you return false um, if the parent doesn't exist. Um, Right, so that was the only edge case. The other edge case I think that needs to be taken care of. Um, the get is pretty simple since we have uh, 
the getter default method and maps you can just do uh, not path so file values you can do get or default what you're trying to do is that you're trying to get the value that you have for path if not you just return minus one awesome so i think that's it actually let's try compiling this all right the first few test cases are okay everything else is okay as well awesome so let's talk about the space and the time complexity the time complexity of both the methods is all of one so this retrieving should be all of one uh there's nothing compute heavy here you're basically looking for something uh, which should also be all of one and putting it is all of one or log in i think uh yeah so complexity time complexity is basically very small and then the space complexity is of n since um we do need to store all of the values in the files value hash map awesome if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video i would really appreciate that it definitely keeps me motivated to make more videos thanks so much and i'll see you folks soon peace